We will get to today's inauguration of President Joe Biden. First, though, the Chicago Teachers Union moving toward another strike tonight. It's asking its members to vote on a resolution that rejects in-person learning until they can come to an agreement with CPS. That vote starts in just two hours. CBS 2's Tara Molina is breaking down the latest. This resolution vote comes after days at the bargaining table for CPS and the CTU, but no agreed safety plan. Tonight, the CTU is sending a clear message. Teachers will not be in school Monday. Teachers were supposed to head back into the classroom in just a few days. Expected Monday the 25th with in-person learning for K-8 students set for February 1st. And despite days of bargaining to land a deal on a safe, agreeable plan for all teachers heading back to the classroom, CPS and CTU couldn't make that happen. With CTU's House of Delegates choosing to vote to pass a resolution authorizing all CTU members at CPS schools to work remotely starting on January 25th. That would continue until they come to an agreement with CPS. It's a move that could ultimately lead to a strike because the district has said teachers and staff who don't show up Monday, as required, won't be paid or able to reach their emails and remote learning tools. If that happens, this resolution authorizes a strike until a deal is reached for all teachers, including high school staff, who haven't been called back yet. So the pressure is on. A walkout of any kind could ultimately leave more than 280,000 kids from attending any school, remote or not. This resolution vote starts in just hours, going to the CTU's full rank and file membership for an electronic ballot vote Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Reporting in the South Loop, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you. CBS responded just a short time ago, saying it's negotiated with CTU in good faith and that stripping students the opportunity for in-person learning, well, that's not an option or a viable solution. You can read that entire statement. We have put it up at CBSChicago.com.